Hi guys, I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday and I want us to look at Eureka Module 7 Lesson 5. Our objective, solve word problems using data presented in a bar graph. Yesterday on Lesson 4, you looked at bar graphs, you constructed some, and I want us to do some problem solving with them. So you, in your, there's a sprint, in your sprint workbook, which you all brought home, you should have the sprint. And then I want us to come down to the application problem. Rita has 19 more pennies than Carlos. Rita has 27 pennies. How many pennies does Carlos have? Freeze this video and solve this problem. And then let's look at the answer. 27 blank, 19, 27 minus 19, and they made it into 28 minus 20 equals 8. We, um, they did the add one, take away one method, which we have talked about several times. So let's look at our concept development. Today we're going to use activity sheets for our lesson, use the information in the table to complete the graphs, and use the data to answer the questions. So what I want you to do is, we're, since we, I'm going to send this out and you can see the activity sheets, and then you can write on and do these, but I want us to get to the problem set, so we can kind of do the problem set together. And um, on the problem set, it, I'm going to see I can zoom this in more. Zoom in. Okay. So on the problem set, it says use the bar graph to then answer the following questions. So remember the title, I would put number of dimes. Okay. And then I would write here everybody's name. I would write Emily, Andrew, Thomas, and Ava. And remember, you're going to take your pencil or your, what, your pencil and you're going to, so if this is Emily, then what I would do is I would write Emily. And then I would do, and I would write one, or I would, I would write zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, because the lines match up and I will color in eight squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would do the same, or is it done? Where's my time? I don't know why you need it. Sorry, guys, he's doing a Google Meet and he needed some of the first Google Meet. Okay, and then you have Andrew and then you have Thomas and Ava and you would do it the same way. And then I will come right here and I would ask these questions. Remember, these are comparison questions. How many more dimes does Andrew have than Emily? Well, if I look back at my table, Andrew has 12 dimes. Emily has eight. Yeah, Emily, eight, nine. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 minus 8 equals 4. So I would write 4 on that line. B, how many fewer dimes does Thomas have than Ava and Emily? So Ava has 13, Emily has 8. 13 plus 8, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So combined they have 21. And I need to... And then it says how 21 minus Thomas, 6, 21 minus 6. And I could um, just write 21 minus 6 vertically, or you can do 20, 20 minus 5 and do the plus and minus 1 thing. And But it's 15. 21 minus 6 is 15. So that's what I would answer for B. Circle the pair with more dimes, Emily and Ava or Andrew and Thomas. And you can just come up here and you can circle it. On right here, this would be, and you would circle, you could circle Emily and Ava or Andrew and Thomas and then tell how many more. And if I look right here, sorry guys, Emily and Ava, 8 plus 13 is 21, Andrew and Thomas, 12 plus 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So they have 18, which is more. 18 or 21, 21, Emily and Ava. So I would come right here and I would write, I would circle Emily and Ava and I'd write 21. What is the total number of dimes if all students combine their money? And I want you to do that one without me. So then what I want us to do is then after we, and then I want you to try the back of the problem set by yourself. And then um, I want you to do the exit ticket and show me, take a picture of the exit ticket and send it to me through a mind. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you at three for our Google Meet.